What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the definitive cereal tier list. For each episode, take cereal, put on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker, and this episode, continuing our pumpkin spice week with pumpkin spice Cheerios. Now, last episode, we did the pumpkin spice frosted mini wheats, which managed to land down at a D, the same as the maple brown sugar frosted mini wheats, and the same as the maple Cheerios. So you're kind of doing a switcheroo there, or even sandwich, if you will. So let's see how pumpkin spice Cheerios can do. After last episode, I'll try to prepare myself more that it's not going to be like pumpkin pie. It's going to be pumpkin spice, which is a different variation of that flavor. So I'll expect that a bit more, so that'll help. Um, but we'll see. There, that's now two pumpkin spice cereals, Frosted Mini Meats and Special K, that have ended up at a D. So not a great outlook, but it is Cheerios, and sometimes they got some pretty decent C's in them. So maybe something good will happen here. Let's just check it out and see what we get. Big old box for this one. Okay, it smells a little less intense, strongly. Sense about as much as it was for the Frosted Lady Wheat. I know I said it wrong that time too, but you understand. Yeah, it's just a slightly more toned the pumpkin scent. There's something else, is it just pumpkin? Cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Maybe that's what it was. Again, cinnamon there. Need to look at the box a bit better. Same thing happened with banana nut. But okay, now we know. I guess I know. You probably already knew. Okay. You know, looks like a Cheerio. Bit, bit darker, with a bit more darker dots than something like the maple had. So nothing too dramatic there. Interesting. Yeah, definitely picking up those other spices in there. Wow, totally different taste than the pumpkin spice frosted mini wheats. I expected them to be a bit closer. Yeah, this is actually quite different. It's much, much warmer, I guess is the word. So I just looked at the ingredients for the frosted mini wheats and they have a lot of those same spices there. The only difference being this is using cloves and that was using ginger. So, I, I don't know if the cloves are just having that much of an effect or if they just used all of those in a higher quantity here, but just wanted to correct myself there and say this spices were appearing in the other one, just way more noticeable here. And the spoons I'm starting to get are very inconsistent. I can't tell if it's because some of the pumpkin spice and general spices getting washed away a bit in the milk or if they just came less spice than the other Cheerios. It feels weird saying spice talking about these because like it's cereal but that is pretty much exactly what these are so but yeah it's just losing it a bit so I'll have a strong bite strong bite and sort of like weaker bite where it just sort of leans a bit more was a slightly sagified Cheerio, not like a whole grain or multi-grain Cheerio, not that original Cheerio. So that's kind of weird. Um, to spread that out a bit more might be better, but it's just worth noting. All right, now let's find out how many spices we can detect in the milk. A 
That's pretty close to the same. A bit sweeter just because milk versus pieces of wheat. But definitely much stronger than the Frosty Mini Wheats was. But a lot, a lot of the flavor is in the milk now as well. Yeah, I kind of like this version of it a bit more. I think I'm, I'm discovering that I like my pumpkin flavors a bit sweeter. So that's not looking great for this, but it makes the milk pretty okay. Yeah. Thanks. That might be the best part for me right now. So that's not great. It does not seem like the eight miles each way bike ride I did to get these was really worth it for me. It seems that thought I had part way through here was correct, and I do prefer my pumpkin flavors a bit sweeter. So unfortunately, that doesn't bode well for these. Um, does make me appreciate the frosted mini wheats one a bit more, but that's not about this. This is about the pumpkin spice Cheerios. They, I don't think, quite nailed it for me. Um, I looking at the maple ones that we did a week ago. I prefer those, even though those were my favorite Cheerios. I like their maple version better, this pumpkin spice version. Um, I do, I guess, applaud them for really getting that combo of spices in there. And like, that was a strong taste for cereal and just a lot going on. So sometimes cereals can't really pull that off in just getting the taste there. So, if nothing else, good job there, Cheerios. But, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is giving Pumpkin Spice Cheerios an E. It's not Toasted Coconut Cheerios. Like, those, I, there's still like a decent gap there because Toasted Coconut Cheerios were really not my thing. This is just a bit less my thing, but Again, looking at Maple Cheerios and the Pumpkin Spice Frosted Mini Weeds, I think I like both of those more en enough. There's enough of a difference there between them that it moves down closer to the Toasted Coconut, if that makes sense. Where it's sort of borderline, but it, it, it feels like a high E more than a low D, if that makes sense. That being said, I think if, if you are very much into that sort of amalgamation of spices that you can do with pumpkin spice, I think these are probably worth checking out for you. Just for what I want from a pumpkin flavor, I don't think this is it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you had an easier time finding pumpkin spice Cheerios Hopefully, if you've tried them and you disliked them as I did, it wasn't as much of a, a trek to find them. But if you did like them, then hopefully, that, you know, that's even better for you. Like, yay, happy for you. I, I, I recognize that this is one of those ones where I think it's just a personal taste of me not being into it more so than it being actually bad. So if, if you have a strongly different opinion would love to hear about that. Hopefully everyone watching this that celebrates Thanksgiving had a nice, albeit small, Thanksgiving. Um, kind of a weird way to end your Thanksgiving day watching someone talk about Cheerios, but hey, I appreciate it. But even if you weren't celebrating Thanksgiving, until next time, stay full.